So, as you all know, I've been working on the Oasis recently. I've upgraded the operating system. So the operating system is now um, up to 1.3.3a. Uh, I've loaded all the um, engines into this thing. So that's all ready to go. What I also have done is I've gone and bought the RAM for this thing. So as I said in the past, this is a computer and therefore it has RAM on it and sitting in this bag somewhere is a one gigabit RAM chip. So now we're going to open this thing up and put the one gigabit RAM chip in. So the first thing we need to do is we need to remove this end panel. That is secured with five screws, one, two, three, four, five. They're quite long. So at this point, I'm gonna speed the camera up while you see I can do it. Got to do this end and we're gonna do that end over there. So, what's really interesting is about these is everyone thinks the wire mesh on these is for aesthetics. Actually, it's not. It's actually to allow the air to pass through the end of the keyboard and through the other end of the keyboard. There isn't actually a fan in here that moves air. It's just a free air movement of air, but it stops it from eating. Okay, the next thing we need to do is move this remove this aluminium plate at the back. And this is done through these screws here. And there are one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. And I'm gonna undo those now. It is mightily hot in here. Anyway, so this has now been unhinged. Therefore, now holds up like so. Now I'm going to use, I can, oops. I can now move this. And I lied, there is a fan in here, there is a fan there. I shall move the camera in a sec. But that allows you now to get into here and move this top piece around so that we can get to this piece here, which is where the dim goes. So I'll move the camera. Okay, what I don't know at this point is how much I need to take to pieces to get to the dim memory. I think it's just under here. Hopefully I don't have to take all this off because that will be a, a real pain. So I'm going to just lift this up and see if it's there. Yeah, hey, look at that, paid off. So... If you look in here, let me see if I can get the camera more zoomed in. I don't intend to take the whole of this off because it would be a pain. What I've done to release this is effectively over here. I've just unhooked these cables from that clamping point there to give this a, bit, a little bit more purchase so I can move it backwards and forwards. And similarly, 
over here I've just released these cables here to give me a little bit more latitude so I can pull the lid up now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to prop the lid open and then I'll show you I don't want to take this off but you can see in here so let me just go and find something to prop this lid open with okay so I popped the lid open so there's a whole raft of wires coming off of here and going onto the board here there's some big there's some IO uh, cables there and just behind that you can just see if I can move my hand out of the way the one gig of dim that's already in there now I'm going to insert my second gig of dim into that same slot okay so it seems to be that that is the way around it needs to be so what we do is we go in there just move these white tabs backwards I'm sorry but there's not an awful lot of room in here to get the camera in and then we just push it home the right way around so it just takes a little bit of force to force that down now the other thing you should be able to see in here which I'm hoping you can see. No, you can't, let me see if I move the camera even further in. It's just to one side. Yeah. You can see the battery sitting in there as well, easily accessible. Obviously when they put this thing together, they actually thought about this. Um, I don't want to get to the motherboard, but there's the motherboard and I can see um, standard VESA and PCI slots on the motherboard so if it was to take this off you would see that is a basic computer motherboard but here I'm going to go and get a battery and put a new battery in while I've got the thing open so this should be a standard Duracell 2032 from my stock of 2032s I will now get a new battery out of packing There's the battery with its child protector on it. And there's the battery in here, which I'm just going to use. It's going to use a. That's it. To release it. Out it should come. There you go. There's the old one. Let's check it is a 302. Uh, yeah, there you go. 203 T3 three volt. Take the uh, sticker off the new one. Right. Pop that into the cell holder. And just push it down. battery changed as well so this is a better shot you can actually see the motherboard from in here behind the ram I've just put in there's the ram I've just put in just made sure it's properly seated which it seems to be like so and then behind there that's the processor uh, which is a, a open processor I don't know what the processor is in there but there's the processor there are the expansion card slots as you can see there I would imagine that is probably the processor actually, that big aluminium block that's sitting under here. And there's the fan, which sucks air in from that end, pushes it out that end, which I didn't realise, but there it is, there's the fan, which I'll give a quick hoover before I put this thing back together. But now I'm just going to put the shield back on.
So while we've got this open, let's just have a look at the underside. So over here, that's the joystick, or the vector control, master volume right at the end. And then this is where all the buttons start for the control panel. So this is all the control panel left hand side. Moving along. This is obviously the connections for the display, this, this board here. And this is the pad board that sits underneath the display. No idea what that's all about. So this is some sort of interconnect. And then we move over to the far side over here. Sorry, the stand has just got caught. And on this side here, you can see this is the I.O. board here. And this is the all the buttons on the right hand side as you look at the keyboard. And you'll see my Nintendo case there gently propping the, uh, the board open. Okay, all the master ribbon cables go all the way back into that logic board in the centre there. Right, I'm just going to give this a hoover, just get rid of the dust, and then I'll put it back together. Okay, so I've just given it a good hoover, got all the dust. Uh, there was quite a bit of dust up this end of the keyboard, that end. Um, obviously that's where the, I think the air comes in, that the airflow is that way. So it came in there and so you can imagine how much dust there would be in this thing if it was actually on the road uh, now it's time to put it back together okay so here's the acid test does it work Great, two gigs of memory is showing up. Right, so I need to just put a new battery in, so that's interesting. But it is working. Job done. So this is the point in the video where I turn around to you, my viewer, and say, if you enjoyed the content of this video, please give it a thumbs up. The way the Google and YouTube analytic engines work is that the more likes you get against the video, the more it gets promoted by YouTube and Google, and therefore more people with the similar interest to what you have and I have get to see this content. This channel is driven by my love of music technology. That's what it's called, the music tech guy for. If you've got queries, want to ask questions about themes or issues I raise on this channel, please, please, please do. Put your comments into the uh, comment section below the video and I will try to address whatever issue it is you've raised or whatever question you've raised. If it's something to do with me making future videos in terms of uh, how to do something on a particular piece of equipment I possess, please feel free to say that as well. I can't promise to make videos on all the requests I get, but I do have a jolly good go at making most of them. Around about here is the subscribe button. Again, to do with the uh, YouTube and Google analytic process, the more subscribers the channel gets, the more the channel gets promoted, and the more people get to see the content that you have obviously just watched. If you want to see my latest video, it will be in one of these two boxes on this side of the screen. Also, there is a second box there, and that video will be chosen for you by YouTube based on your YouTube preferences. I look forward to the next time that we interact 
and I do mean interact because I always enjoy reading your comments back to me. But for now, bye-bye.